youth football, in my opinion, I would be happy if they just didn't let people play fo- tackle football until ninth grade. Because you can still play flag football, and that's still fun. And that's still football for eight. You can teach a proper way to how to tackle or air tackle. There's no point of tackling when you're 10 years old. Because one, you're probably doing it wrong. Two, you create bad habits. And there's no point of tackling when you're 10 years old, let's be honest. Mm-hmm. These guys who are freaks at football and 10 years old, they end up not being so good in high school. So obviously it shows that being playing youth football really has no direct correlation to your success, to your success in high school. Okay, hi. I have a quick question though. You're a f- current football player. You've been playing like your whole life. Mm-hmm. Has it been worth it to you to be at a, a high risk potentially for CTE? Um, yeah, it has been worth it because like I love being competitive. Like, there's just it's a habit. Like it's a hobby of mine that I love to do. It's something I like every day. Like when I work out, I do it for football. And it's like a goal, and it's to be successful in football. But other than just football and being successful on the field, I've created, especially in college and in high school, like I created great memories. It's a great way of connecting friends. And uh, I don't know. If you told me in, like, the same question I asked DJ, if you told me, like, I had CTE, you're going to for sure have CTE when you're 50. Is it worth it? And... For me, I'm going to say no because I didn't need football. Mm-hmm. I didn't need football. And right now, the player and him said it because he doesn't have kids. He doesn't have a family to look after. These people, Aaron Hernandez ended his life. At 27. 27. And they showed that he had CTE. Um, I bet a bunch of parents, you could ask them, would you play football? Like, they didn't have, some parents might not have a CTE, but we're asking if you for sure are going to have CTE. And for me, I'm going to say no because I didn't need football. Mm-hmm. But it's different for everyone. Chris Carter, he needed, needed football, needed football to get out. Like, I could still go to a great school without football. Jameis Winston said it. He needed football. He needed football. So that's why this is a controversial topic because it's different for everyone. Some people are risking their lives. But the thing is, like, everyone's talking about football and CTE. But, like, no one talks about the 9-to-5 job. No one yeah. talks about the str- how stressful nine to five jobs are. No one talks about because my mom works super hard, and I know how stressful that is. But no one's talking about that, and it's because it's not football. And sometimes I, I could say her working that hard for like twenty years is more doing more bad to her than football has done to me. Mm-hmm. But she does it because she needs to work. She needs to help, like, provide for her family. So does everyone. So that's why, like, but no one's telling my mom not to work hard and that's why it's different because she needs to work hard mm-hmm. for for our family but i don't need football at the end of the day i don't need football like it doesn't yeah I, I, if football went away i could still be fine with my life because yeah like if you took football away i might not have made the friends i have but I, in the long run like at least I'm you're healthy at least i'm healthy and like for my family and like i'm not when I have a kid who's 10 years old, when I have grandkids, I want to know who they are. And if I have to throw away all my experiences when I was younger for that, for them, I'm looking long term. I think it's not worth it to throw away, to throw away those, to throw away like my potential bond I have with my kid to, mm-hmm. for me to be there and for my mental health to be, still be intact. And I think it's worth throwing away those experiences.